Okay, so I'm still not quite 100%. This thing is just sticking around for ages. As you can see, I'm doing this stack of easy clues. I'm actually going to fill out all of the hidey holes as well. I'm bringing protein planks and steel nails, and that should be what we need. I'm just making the items that we can. I've done a whole load of mining and smithing, actually. Let me just show you. So, actually, no, this is the best, best way. Uh, I have materials for a lot of stuff. Basically, my plan is get the 600 bars of everything that you need for masterwork ready as I go. We're up to 88 mining already with it. 80 smithing. So smithing is going to be kind of a bit awkward to get higher. I've opened some metamorphic geodes and, uh, well, we've got some concentrate alloy bars and an enriched bar already. I think it goes up, up, and then you make the immaculate ones into masterwork, if I remember rightly. But yeah, we're just going to make the easy items. We've got plenty of ores. It'll be easy peasy to do. And yeah, then from there, we'll uh, see what happens. A very thematic step, this one, isn't it? Dancing in the party room. Love it. Over there, party Pete, be your afro. No, no pewter spoon, but I'll uh, take the scroll box. Right, now this one is... Hiding here as a potted plant. 7 out of 58, fill it up, automatically takes the items off of us, puts them in here, so if we ever get that step again in the future, we can easily do it. However, we don't need it for this one. So we need to... Hmm, we need blue flowers, I mean, I'll take the white ones for now. Wait, they're pink. Wait, they're red. Come on. No. Come on, red ones. Blue flowers. Okay, they're purple. I think purple are, are maybe needed for one hidey hole. Ye yellow, yellow definitely are. Current step needs blue. Blue flowers, fantastic. So it's the blue flowers, the leather gloves, and a ruby amulet. I may have accidentally opened a casket. However, the casket had absolutely nothing inside, hence why you haven't seen anything about it. All right, so this step to wear all of our stuff and clap in the exam hall. Where is clap? There. Fantastic. Clue done. And here is the hidey hole. Eight out of 58. Items added. Away we go. All right, so apparently I haven't done this one, although I thought I had. I'm not even sure where I convert to a hidey hole. But apparently we yawn here? Where's yawn? Hang on. Where is yawn? Yawn there. Ah. Oh. Where's the hidey hole? Not a bookcase. Chair. Oh, there's a crate over there. Ha ha ha. You sneaky little crate. Beautiful. 9 out of 58. Onwards we go. Okay, and now this one, this is the hidey hole, but I think we have to stand this side from what I remember. Twirl. Oh, we get a casket, and then we convert, and we fill. Next up, this, this valid or step, I swear, is like the most common. It's so simple. We teleport here. We walk a few steps to here. Right click, done. So easy. So uh, here's another one. This one I had already previously done, apparently. I right, put all of this and then we cheer in front of the monks. What? And then we cheer in front of the monks. Wait, what? Then we cheer in front of the monks? <laughs> okay. Cool, casket, fill that one up. Just showing you which hidey holes we've got done already. Hopefully you will get them all done. Um, probably not with this easy stack, um, but plan is to do at least one more full stack of 25 clues in this video, and then we'll have a 50 or 49 clue opening to end it out. Right, so this is a step that if I'd done Legends Quest would be so much easier because it is right outside the Legends Guild. 
And Legends Quest and Heroes Quest and Dragon Slayer and all those quests are ones that I'm thinking I should do in the near future. Uh, probably before Fresh Start Worlds, the actual like event ends, because I'm not sure how much RuneScape I will play after that. I definitely won't be doing these really super frequent videos that I have been doing while it's been ongoing. So, I don't know, we'll, we'll sort of work out, you know, I'll still be playing, but I will definitely not be playing as much as I have been while Fresh Start's been on. So that's number 11 done. But yeah, I think maybe I should be doing the quests after Fresh Start Worlds finish, finishes and do like once a week, like a little quest roundup that I've done video. I don't know, something along those lines or sort of maybe a weekly RuneScape progress alongside whatever else I end up playing. Um, but I've just, you know, this past couple of months, all I've been doing is RuneScape, which is, you know, uh, not, you know, not awful because it's really fun, but I feel like I'm spent a lot of time in it. And inside, I'm like, right, I, I need to play something else. I want to play something else just to uh, mix it up a bit. So, yeah, I will keep playing RuneScape outside of Fresh Start Worlds, but nowhere near the amount of hours that I have. Been. Oh, this is this one in here. Oh, wait, not in here. Whoa, where are we going? This is the step, these chests up here, I believe. I, let's see how we go. Do, do, do. This chest here. Lovely, and a casket. Oh, that's a, that's a hundred total clues completed on Fresh Start Worlds. We're actually nearly at the 20,000 point mile margin point the like basically the top point for any unlocks which is pretty cool it's a shame it's like so late on but we get boosted hp summoning prayer stuff like that from what i remember and you know maybe it'll come in handy if we decide we want to take on the rest of the god wars two bosses maybe give telos a go i think that my current now aim is before fresh start world finishes i want a single telos kill which should be pretty doable be honest if i can remember how the boss works which i can mostly it should be manageable now we have to kill gregorovic the twin furies and Hellwyr. all should be easy enough to at least get the single kill to get the part of the key and then yeah we will take on talos so that will be the finale of fresh start worlds will be me taking on talos so there's a little bit of preparation we need to do before then. I need to get some more overloads together. Because I think overloads are going to be pretty key in that fight. Um, if it turns out that the first kill is super easy, then maybe we go for 100% Talos as, like, the goal by the end. But uh, we'll have to see. We will have to see. As it is, I'm going to crack on with these easies. See you when we've got a new hidey holder fill. Whoops. Okay, apparently I'd already done this one, so I've just ended up with a spare set of stuff. Oh, it's fine. Yeah, that, that hidey hole was already filled. Whoops. Oh, it's okay. It's fine. Oh, hello, Castellan Ralsarp the Rending. How are you? Don't mind me, I'm just doing my clues. I'm just gonna head bang over here. You, you chill out there. We're all good. Just working on a slightly awkward item, it's the wood camo top, and I need to, I believe, no not rabbits, I need kebit hole. We need to flush out some kebits, which requires level 3 hunter, which is obviously no issue for us, we are actually up to 75 hunter, so we could do some big game hunter at some point, I do enjoy big game hunter. And I believe what we have to do is we have to inspect a burrow. Follow the tracks, search bushes and things until we eventually find something that's wiggling. And then we, from there, have to poke it with the noose one. We have to wield it? I can't remember. But either way, let's uh, hunt out these kebits, get their furs, and make the wood camo top. Now, I'm pretty sure here we... How do we do this? We have to fur shop? Yes, what do we need? Wood, camo, top. 20 coins and two kebit furs. Perfect. Sweet, so that's the three items we need for this step. 
Uh, and it is the mill by the player owned farm. This was actually the very first step I had on my clue only Iron Man. Remember that like three years ago or however long it was. So if my memory serves me correctly, it's stand here and it was clap. Where's clap? 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 Uh, clap. Hey! And I believe this right here, 12 out of 58, another one complete. Onwards we go. Putting out lots of these, um, lots of these hidey holes. It's good. And this, I think, is our fastest teleport to this step. I'll show you quickly, because it's actually down over here is the uh, perfect spot to dig. Is like right behind here. And... Voila! Nice and easy with a Skull Scepter. Alright, and here is another one. So this one meant we needed an Amulet of Strength, which is easy enough. Ruby Amulet, and then we enchant it. We've obviously got the magic level and stuff for that. Iron Scimitar, plenty of Iron Bars in the bank, and a Leather Cow, which I already had. And this one is Laugh. Where... what is the Laugh animation? What's the Laugh one? That's Cry. That's Panic. Laugh? Ah, there. Ho, 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 ho. And this here is a hidey hole. Let's fill it up. Another one done. Love to see it. Right, here's another one. So this is a steel med helm. I wasn't sure, so I bought both types. And this is where we convert it. Convert. Fill. That's another hidey hole done. Okay, so this one, we needed an unholy symbol, which I had in my bank already. I can't remember when I got that. Uh, some iron boots and a steel hatchet, which I just made myself from the bars that I had in the bank. And I believe it involves jumping for joy. And where is jump for joy? Isn't it one of these ones? I thought it was one of these ones. Um, jump for joy. This one here. Yay! And this weirdly coloured beehive becomes hidey hole number 15, was that? Number 16? I've, I've lost count at this point, but I've done most of the easy ones now, I must have. Right, this is a nice easy one, uh, just by Drain or Crossroads here. Sapphire ring, easy to make, gold bar and a sapphire, and away we went. Shield bow, also had to make that, but I had plenty of bowstring in the bank and I literally chopped a log of wood and we were done. And Iron Chain Body again, I had all the bars in the bank. And we are dancing out in the crossroads. Bit of a weird one, but uh, all good. Let's just double check we don't get a duplicate. No. And this here is the hidey hole. Voila, convert and fill. Away we go. All right, so that is the first stack complete. We got a 24, not too bad. Let's save this preset so I don't have to work it all out. Again, obviously the caskets and stuff. Are not... It's fine, that was pretty solid. Uh, let's go and get another stack of clues. These should take about half an hour if the last few times I've done this is anything to go by. And obviously that's just how members will pop the aura and away we go. So I'll get the 25 and then I will go and solve the other 25 and then we will open them all up at the end and see what we got. And there we go. Bang on, half an hour on the aura. 25 clues. Get them solved. Another nice easy step to be honest. It's just some jewellery and a bronze chain body. Go here, that's the hidey hole, that rock there. Do this, dance jig. And then, voila, I accidentally opened another one, hence why we're going to actually have 48 at the end. There was no fortunate inside, it was a whole lot of rubbish, I've already banked it, because I was just like, oof, oof. How do I, how am I going to do this? Do I use this on the air router? Yes. Apparently I do. Okay. That solved that question. Oh, I need to string my amulet as well. Ah! Not as easy as I thought it was. Ball. Glad I bought those six balls of wool. We used five. 
Right, and then we go to the Druid Circle over here for another hidey hole. Nice, easy. Obviously, the bronze two handed sword I just made from bars. That was fine. Just cheer at the circle. And I think one of these, yeah, that rock there, is what we convert to a hidey hole. Voila. 18 complete. Very nice. I think we're nearly done with them because. I'm getting very, very infrequently now clues that I can't, or sorry, clues that I need to bring stuff to make hidey holes with. I think we're nearly there. Right, this is a bit of an awkward one because these bats can be aggro, but I think we've got the combat level so that we don't need to. This is just a raspberry. Beautiful. And this is the hidey hole down here. Fantastic. 19 of 58. Let us go. All right, here we are. We have 46 caskets. Um, partly thanks to the fact I didn't fancy making a mud pie and two of the clues came up with that and I was like, oh, I can't be bothered. So, yeah, we're down to 46 and then the other two that I'd opened. Uh, we are 22 out of 81 on our easy rewards, and what we really would like is some more Armadale pages so we can make an Armadale book. But uh, 46 to open, let's see how we go. Okay, one to reroll. That is another one to reroll. There's nothing particularly redeeming there, and we ended up with the worst of the all a master. Lovely. Nothing. Uh, oh, the offhand suitcase is probably one of the rarer easy car easy things you can get. That's amazing. That's one of the items I really wanted on my clue only account, but we uh, we never found it. Nice. Okay. Now, can we get the main hand as well? That would be the dream. Now, plate body T. I seem to remember is not a fortunate. Um. I'm going to leave that just in case one of them are. I always forget which ones are which. Okay. Black plate legs G, I believe are not a fortunate. Let me just check. Ah, uh-oh. What's happened? Black plate legs G. Disassembly. No, see, they're not. Let's re-roll them. Okay, Zamorak page, 709 coins, but it is a reroll token, so let's just get that out of the bank quickly. Reroll token, lovely. Redeem that, fantastic. Okay, enough of your value, enough of your value, and also enough of your value. Okay. Nice, so magic comp is a fortunate. We are obviously still looking to get towards 50 fortunates. I don't have the crafting level for it yet, but it will be very useful when we eventually get there. Uh, offhand black crossbow. I, can't, I don't think that is. Let me just double check. That one is a fortunate. Okay, lovely. That is useless. Okay, some Armadale page two. So we now have page two and page four. So there's two others that we'd really like to get. Wizard robe skirt G, I'm pretty sure is fortunate as well. That is just bad. That's also pretty bad. I don't mind necessarily getting the nature runes though, because they always come in handy for Alks. So, uh, da 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 da, reroll. What? You've got to be kidding. We've got we've had two offhand suitcases. Hello? What? <laughs> what are the chances of that? A regular black crossbow, which is awful, but also a reroll token. Wait, what? <laughs> two offhand suitcases from Easy's. Love it. I'm pretty sure they are all the same same rarity. Nice magic comp. It's a fortunate. Nothing of value. Bob shirt red, another fortunate there, beautiful. I'm pretty sure the black crossbow isn't. Okay, that's not great. 
That's not great. That's not great. That's also pretty bad. And we re-roll into nothing better. <gasps> Armadale page one. Okay, so we just need Armadale page three, and then we have all four pages of the Armadale book. That's our dream here now. Because if we can do that, we have the Armadale book. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, pretty sure these are not fortunates, but if they were, how amazing would that be? Three fortunates. Okay, let's keep going. All right. Nice, so that's at least one fortunate, if not two. I can't actually remember. It's been so long since I looked at which ones are fortunates and which ones are not. Again, that I'm pretty sure won't be. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. 5k, no thank you. All right, you comp, lovely. Again, black crossbow I'm pretty sure is not. You comp again. No. No. No, final casket. And we re-roll it because it's the last one. Ah, oh, okay. Right, let me count up how many fortunes we've got and then I'll be back. We only got the one master, which is a bit of a shame, but I think that's about drop rate. Okay, so we have two, four, six. They are apparently, so 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 fortunates from 50 easies. I will take that. That's pretty good. Uh, the rest of the stuff in my invent is all just stuff. In fact, the entire invent is going to just be disassembled into components because they're going to come in handy at some point. That's for sure. I'm going to try and buy Armadale page free off of the GE. I very much doubt I'll be able to get one. But it would be really nice if I can because I've got all the other pages. So uh, wish us luck. Let me disassemble all this. We're going to ha end up with about 40 fortunates at this point. Yeah, we've got 21 already, so getting rid of all those brings us to about 40. Uh, I'll need to AFK harps, probably, to get the crafting level to be able to do the onyx stuff, because I think that's the next thing, is probably a luck of the dwarves. Right? Because that just requires... that's just an onyx ring, or it's alchemical onyx, so... That's 91 crafting we need for that. Holy moly. And the alchemical onyx requires an onyx, 50 fortune and 50 refined and 10 precious. Do we have the other 50? I don't know what refined look like. Uh, you are refined. Are they here? Are they refined? Okay, maybe I don't have refined yet, but... That's fine, we can work that out as well. And precious as well, I'm not sure what they look like, but that's fine. We can... Okay, precious we're fine. Refined, I will have to probably sort out at some point, but it'll be easy enough, I'm sure. It'll be easy enough. Sweet, I'm gonna get to disassembling all this, and then hopefully you'll see me with all four pages of an Armadale book, ready to go and get it set up. So I'm quite glad this didn't happen. Um, I just put in four mil for one Armadale page just to guarantee it. If I can, I mean, I may as well buy a second. So then I can just charge it if they are going for 500K. Let's put in 750K for a second one. Beautiful, yeah, so someone was selling two. Nice, so we have all four pages, so I believe we need to go to the monastery, or do we add the pages? Three. Four. Okay, okay, okay. So it's added, we now need to get it blessed. I'm pretty sure we do that at Alcarid. I don't know if it gives us more stats or what. And then I need to use all of these pages on it, just to give it... I don't know why I bought two of the same. It doesn't matter which one you buy, as long as you have a page. You can add as many as possible. Uh, and I'm pretty sure this recently got changed, so you can add like 24 hours worth. So that's sweet. So that's going to give us a lot more in the way of damage. Uh, especially if we decide we want to go and try next at some point. That's going to be really handy if it procs... well... Basically at any point, to be honest, it's just a really good item for Nex. 
mostly because it does lots of little hits, and Nex has lots of hit caps and stuff. So who is it we need to speak to? Is it Cecilia? Does she bless a book? I'm not sure how this works. Um, yeah, go then, leave the abbey. Oh, what have I done here? Oh, snap, okay. Um, do I... Hmm. There's definitely a way... Preach? Oh, what? No, we don't want this. No, 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 no. What we want is we want to bless it. How do we bless the book? Hold up, let me find out. Okay, so apparently there's a bookmaking room in a southwestern room. Or a bookmaking table. Aha! I don't even know if I've done... If I've made the illuminated one on my main, or if I just had the regular one. But we should be able to work on this. No? Use this on this? Um, all of them? Oh, we've done it! Oh snap, wait. So it just buffs the... It buffs it up to 7 and 4 rather than 5 and 2. I need to check on my main if I ever even did this. Nice, okay. So, well, we have the illuminated version, which is just better. And it does the same amount of damage, but it has better stats. So uh, let's charge this up. So this, we still have to do it one by one, but that's up to three hours and then we can still keep stacking it oh this is so nice Look at that five hours of god bookness which is a lot of extra damage maybe we go and test it out on the rex matriarchs because i haven't ever killed them properly so it seems like a decent shout and we actually have a pocket slot item that does stuff which does mean i would ideally like to add my bone crushed tool belt but we don't have the slayer points yet so hmm we'll work something out we'll work something out but sweet we've got the illuminated book of law lovely 